Yo guys, what up? So today we're going to talk about why people have mediocrity mindset. There are plenty of reasons, but today we're going to cover only three. Let's get started. Welcome to Emin Potosian's channel. Okay guys, so the first thing that I, this is very crucial and a lot of people are making mistakes over here is the first thing. People are more important than money. By the way, I'm sorry for my noise. Recently, I've been feeling a little bit sick, that's why. So just don't care about that because the information is what is important. It's not me, it's not the whiteboard, it's what is written in here. So the people are more important than money. Now you'll be like, wait, why? Because you're like, okay, I understand, but without money, you can run business. Without cash, without cash flow, your business is going to die. It can't survive even one or two days. People, your community, your friends, etc. Everyone goes under people, your family. And why people are important? Because people are your biggest asset. If people don't exist, they are never going to pay you money. So if you have one good customer, then probably that would be cool if you ask that one good customer, hey, do you know someone that uh, also need these services? Let's say, I'm just making it simple, right? Whenever you're a good person, you always hang out with people who are like you, who are good. So if you have one customer which is good, then you can get the second one, the third one, the fourth one. So that's why people is very important. And another example is one of my buddies. So I was talking with one of my buddies in the United States. He is a sales guy. He's crushing out there. Um, you know, I love his mentality, motivation. Everything is really important and I like that. Um, so I was talking with him and he was like, dude, I was a meeting with one of the biggest guys in real estate in, in our, in our state. And he was like, uh, dude, so we were talking and he told me people are your biggest asset. And I asked why. And he was like, because people are your biggest asset. And he said another example, which is Grant Cardone. So as you know, how Grant Cardone is doing. So he calls people and he's like, Hey man, you know me, right? And they'd be like, of course I know you. They'd be like, okay, cool. Do you want me to do good in business? Sweet, yes. Okay, what problems do you have? Is it marketing? Is it sales? Is it targeting? What is that? So that's why people are very important. And sometimes uh, like entrepreneurs, or I know people who are even successful while training that money is important, but people is what is important because this is what's going to stay, guys. The second thing, very crucial, right? Uh, time equals money. This concept, uh, plenty of people are kind of like not paying attention to as they need to because they're like, yeah, I'm good. I have time. You know why I have time? Because I'm young. I have, I'm young and I have a lot of time. I just don't need that. But they actually don't understand that if you are taking out from your pocket, look, we're all starting from zero, right? Like me, like Jeff Bezos started from zero, like Elon Musk started from zero. Look guys, so if you don't have money, I'm talking about hundred millions of dollars, like two, three, five, ten, seven, or one billion dollars. If you don't have money, what you have is time, right? So every time, every minute, every hour that you're spending on something is either going to help you to make money or get away from it. You have to understand this. This is the biggest concept. Whenever we're starting, we don't have nothing. We are treating our time in order to get that money back. So that's why time equals money and you have to treat time like it's the biggest crucial, it's the biggest thing out there. Because you know why? Because right now you only have these and you have to create leverage. Some people are like, what is leverage? So you know what is leverage? I I'm sure you know Kobe Bryant. You know how Kobe Bryant became one of the best? For me, he's the biggest one out there, the best basketball player over there, Jordan Fast, please don't hate me. So you know why he had that leverage? 
Guys, whenever other basketball players were having one practice a day, he was having three. You know why? Because he knew that he was behind of that guys who were already winning. So the only thing that he can go for over there is the leverage, is the time that he needs to cut it. It's not like, yeah, you just have to wait until you go there. No, you have to work so fucking hard until you get there because they have leverage. So let's say Alex Ramosi, this is like an example, okay? So he started eight years ago and I'm starting like, and I started a year ago. I have seven years to keep up. Seven years is so huge and there's a lot of work to do. So if I know that he is working, let's say nine hours a day, then I'm gonna work 16, 17 hours a day until, until I get in here. Because I'm way back, I'm here. And if I don't work twice as that guy who is already winning, then I'm never going to keep up with him. This is very important. People treat their time like it's a trash. They go party, play video games. Guys, understand this. I'm not judging you, understand. I'm not judging you, please get that. If, you, if that's a life that you are striving for, then fucking go for it. But if you want to be the best guy out there and you're still partying and you're still video gaming, then dude, get the fuck out from the game. You're already way behind. You have to always work on yourself. You have to constantly work on yourself. I don't need work on yourself. Go and get a course or I know training. No, what I mean is you can meditate. You can read books, li listen podcasts. Like let's say if you're bad for marketing, let's say content marketing, right? I suck from content marketing. I want to be good at content marketing. Spend two to three weeks just every day, 10 hours seven hours six hours every day just watch videos oh everything you can find on youtube even that guy suck from it watch his videos read every book out there related to content marketing and i guarantee you at the end of that three weeks you're gonna fucking killing it you're gonna be the best so just understand this the third one i call this newton's third law why i'm gonna tell you why so I'm gonna put Newton's third law over here somewhere. So what I mean by that is like, if you put X amount of energy on X, Y, Z task, then what are you going to get is X amount of results. Never freaking expect that you're going to get X, Y amount of results because you didn't put that work in. So this is important. And plenty of people are treating this like, yeah, dude, I did my best, why I'm not succeeding? Look, I don't care about your best. What I care about is I need you to do what is required because your best is probably to work eight hours a day, but what is required 17 hours of day work. So guys, this is crucial. This is crucial where plenty of people suck. And you know why they suck? Because of consistency, because laziness. Look, everyone is lazy. Everyone out there, even even David Goggins is lazy, but you know, he always finds a way to kind of like get away from that laziness. He breaks that laziness of that willpower. So you have to find what is the best solution for you. Look, money can be the best solution. If you want to get there and you are only striving for money, one day you're going to stop it. For example, me, I want to get there because I want to be free because I don't want anyone to control my life. I want my family to live their best life. I want my community to have the best life. I want my country to be best. So understand this, money is not the thing and Newton's third law is very important. And in here I put three plus one. Uh, so what is this? Guys, there's one thing, it's belief. It's belief. It's belief that people are not having. They're like, they're doing all of this three and more, but they're never put this. And if you don't have belief, we're never going to get there. Guys, belief equals obsession. And if you are not obsessed with what are you doing, then you're never going to get the results. Look, if you are obsessed with YouTube, 
then freaking create content three times a week. If you're obsessed with marketing, then work on your marketing skills. Create an agency or become an SMM specialist. Guys, belief is so crucial. And without belief, we're never going to get there. You have to wake up every day and say, instead of saying, look, it's hard. I don't know if I'm going to get there. I don't know if I'm going to get results. Say, I have belief. I believe in myself. I believe that I'm going to be the best guy out there. I believe that I'm going to conquer the world. Guys, belief is important and truth is like the most significant thing. Because if you don't have belief, fuck money, fuck your time, fuck you to start low. Belief is what you need. First thing. Okay, guys. So, thank you so much for watching this video. If this is what type of video you like, let me know in the comments. Like this video, share it with your friends. It's not something that you consider doing. Share it with people so they don't have a mediocrity mindset. And appreciate that and have a great day. Bye-bye.